Greetings, Vervan Heads! Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2! Last time you beat Gulp and unlocked the Winter Tundra World, as well as the Head Dash. So now we need to finish whatever we had left to do in Autumn Plains that we couldn't because we didn't have the Head Bash, which includes doing the Alchemist uh, quest in Fracture Hills. As you can tell, I'm not very excited for this, because this mission is bullshit. I've been experimenting with this potion. I'd like to test it out, but the Earth Shapers out there have made going out a bit difficult. Could you kindly offer me an escort? I don't want to. I have to. Great! Just keep those Earth Shapers away from me and I'll take this potion to Hunter. <laughs> Lost them already. Will you escort me past those earth shapers? Yep. Just one hit and you have to start all over again. And for whatever reason, this dude takes the most asinine path around every fucking earth shaper that he does not need to. Look at this! Who the fuck do you need to go past this one? At all? Damn it. Like, he walks in front of half of the goddamn guys. Doesn't make any sense. Where the fuck did he go? Why are you there?! Will you is so fucking stupid? Why the fuck did he go over there? I the end is right. I fucking hate this mission. I don't know. I don't know which one I hate more. This one or the one orb mission in Cloud Temple? I think it's this one. It's like my least favorite of every mission in the game. I remember having the most trouble with the turtle one as a kid. But... to go that way and then he just turns right the fuck around. What the hell was that for? Man, do my feet feel better. Would you look after this for me? Like, why the fuck did he turn right the fuck around there? It makes no goddamn sense. As long as you're here, would you like to help me take out these stubborn earth shapers? Let's kick some earth shaper butt. I'm All mad. Right. When I shoot an earth shaper with an arrow, you head bash him before he gets back up. Remember, head bash by jumping and then press triangle. We have to get all of them at once, or they'll just invite more of their friends. Let's go! Head bash, Earth Shapers after Hunter shoots them. This isn't nearly as hard. As you see, I've not hit an enemy. Oh no, I killed one. I killed a bush that like hit me after. I forgot to, I forgot to shoot some pretty quickly. Yeah, Hunter's, uh, 
a pretty good goddamn. As long as you're here. He's a pretty good archer as it turns out. I forgot how fast this mission goes. Thankfully, the pattern is always the same. Damn. That was the last one, too. As long as you're. The pattern is always the same, though, so as long as you know what it is, you can, you can do this mission fairly quickly. wonder though, what are these arrows like tipped with that they can knock over beings made of solid earth? We make a great Got him team. All, at least. Here, I was going to give this to the alchemist, but I'm a bit annoyed at him at the moment. Why would you give this to the alchemist though? We kind of need these. We have 50 of them. Holy shit. There we go. With that, Autumn Plains is 100% done. So all we have left are the Winter Tundra Worlds. All four of them. Yeah, it's the four Winter Tundra Worlds and the Speedway and then Ripto. Yeah, we're literally almost done the game. Like, I figure out like 85% completion. There isn't a way to just... There isn't a way for me to just check, is there? Yeah, no. You can only see the contents for each world. I can't see overall progress. That's kind of weird. Alright, Winter Tundra is the world we need to go to. I mean, technically now I can go in whatever order I want, since there isn't anything that's really stopping me. Hmm. I got that took me outside here, as opposed to outside Ripto's arena. Hmm, I want to go to Mystic Marsh, or... Actually, no, I think I know which one I want to go to. I want to go to Robotica Farm. Go here. This one's kind of a, an interesting world. Robotic laugh. I've missed these stupid cutscenes. Howdy, Spyro. These here pests have infested our farm. Could you find the time to help us get rid of them? Find your way over to the giant bug lamp and turn it on so we can zap any more invading pests. Okay, Farmer Green Bean. His name is literally fucking Green Bean. So I believe there are free orbs in this world. And 400 gems, because that's the same. Man, I'm getting some Sparrow 1 vibes from that. From that series right there, just knocking barrels into things. 
die sheep. I need your food. I need your butterfly. Why did that sheep eat a butterfly? I have no idea. So look. I think it's a good thing they came to robotic farm. I think this is like the one world in the game where there are enemies that you specifically need to head bash to kill them. I don't think there are any of I don't think there are any enemies in Mystic Marsh, Cloud Temple, or Metropolis that do that. And now that I think about it, I don't think there are enemies in Year of the Dragon that require you to uh, use head bashes to kill them either, which is the sequel to this game, the best of the Star Wars of the PS1 Spyro games. That's the thing. Like, interesting little props here. Like, these plants are massive, but like, so are the bugs. It's like a really bizarre infestation. Can I get a hit? I didn't see what I was doing. Uh... Yeah, I've played all the PS1 Sparrows. I own Entered the Dragonfly. I got that like a year ago. And, uh, well, that's certainly a video game, Enter the Dragonfly is. I don't know. I might play it. LP it? Or play it, LP it. Just to, like, say that I did. I don't know if that might be a death sentence. Because, like, of all the spiral games that I own, I know I'm definitely going to LP Year of Dragon. Because that game is just fucking phenomenal. It's like... It's easily the best platformer I think I've played, even though I like Crash Bandicoot more. I love how they give you these rocks to shoot at those flying pests, but you can- but they're like easy enough to be able to jump in the flame with that. So it's like... Oh, come on. So... Yeah. I think this really is biased on my part though. I think it's just because Year of the Dragon like pushed the PS1 to like its limits of what you can do with a platformer. Like everything that game offers is just amazing in and of itself. Mm, past that, I said I had Year of the Dra Rent of the Dragonfly. Uh, I have a Hero's Tale and I like a Hero's Tale. It's a uh, it's a bit of a meh title, all things considered, but I still like it. Ah, this, this water's electric. All right, I need a ship. I need a ship. I need a ship to go back. Look at your ship. Oh wow, that was the tenth thing I've killed since I started, so it gave me a free life. That's good. I remember when I used to have like just all these lives and then I burned them all inside of a volcano. Those were fun times. <laughs> these darn bugs are making a joke That's... of my expensive robot scarecrows. Can you chase them down and flame them, Spyro? Right, so this is one of the orb challenges, so you... So all you do is you have to flame the bugs while they're in the air. This one's really simple. You just need high ground to get them. I don't even think they respawn, so like this is a really simple orb challenge. I think all the robot, I think all the Robotica Farms uh, challenges are pretty simple. Oh, 
Oh no, they do respawn. Shit. I was absolutely wrong about that. I guess that just means I'm taking way too long with this, and I should have had this a long time ago, but I don't. But to be fair, like, these are supposed to be scared crows, not scared bugs. So I'm like double tapping triangle in the air, so I hover and then I head bash into the third. This last one. Damn it, come on. Ah, oh, damn it. And now they're all respawning again. This is simple, he says, which is why I haven't beaten it yet. I missed that one? Come on! There we go. Oh, come on! I fucking started respawning after I got the last one. God damn it! My fields are safe from those flying there we vermin, go, God. Spyro. Take this doodad I done dug up yesterday. Look at Farmer Appleby. Like the head farmer's farmer green bean. Just like... like... Stupid names like that. So whatever Spyro games have I played. Uh... Not to Hero's Tale. I played, I have three of the GBA Spyros, I have Season of Ice, which is bullshit, I have Season of Flame, which is good, uh, and I have, oh by the way, you need a, you need a firework to open this one, because the superpower for this world is supercharged. There's Attack of the Rhinox for GBA, which is a collectathon. Kind of an odd. Kind of like. How do I describe it? Like, in its purest sense, Attack of the Rhinox is a friggin' collectathon. Like. Like, you go to each, like, world, like, yeah, there are, like, eight or so worlds, and you need to collect certain uh, items to accomplish a certain thing to get the heart of the world. And if you get the heart, you need to collect all the hearts to get to the final world and fight Ripto, who's the villain of Attack of the Red Axe. Ripto becomes the main villain of the Spyro franchise. I mean, I guess that's a bit of a spoiler, me meaning he doesn't die at the end of this game. 
So to be fair, I think there's like only one villain in all the Spyro game that actually canonically gets. Yeah, there's only one villain in all of the Spyro franchise that I can think of, not including the legend of. Oh wow, that on my head. I hear a chef. Where is the chef? Come to me, chef. I need your help. Okay, it's not your help I need so much as it is your life essence. Anyway, it's not the point. Did you get what was up there? Yeah, I did. Oh my god, that thing respawned? That doesn't make any sense. Alright, I know there were Sheps over here. So let's go back. The only villain that, die, that dies in like all of the Spyro games is the villain of Year of the Dragon, I think. Yeah, I don't think she ever came back. And I guess the and I guess the antagonist of Season of Ice dies off too. I guess. I hate Season of Ice. The problem with Season of Ice is you are forced to 100% that game, and the checkpoint system in, Spire, in Season of Ice does not exist. It 100% does not fucking exist, and I need to time that better. So... So if you ever die or Bring a level in Season of Ice, you have to start from the beginning of the level, and your progress is not saved. Like, one of the key goals for every level is to kill every enemy in the level, and that is impossible without a checkpoint system that the game does not give you. But the enemies also respawn. Can I not get back up? Oh. oh, this is gonna get annoying really fast. Wait a go, Spyro! Them varmints won't be coming near our crops now. Can I offer you a reward?
I used to drive my tractor all around the farm, but some fool robot blocked the path up. Do you think you could knock them down with a bit of a supercharge? A fine piece of steering that was, Dragon. Here, take this thingamajig I found in the cow pen. <laughs> 